I'm standing next to one of approximately half a dozen slap poles. Now they're not called a slap pole because you're supposed to slap them. SLAP stands for Sea Level Awareness Project. About half a dozen of these were erected from the Ventura Harbor down to Surfers Point by an organization called Kids vs. Global Warming. The point of these slap poles is to educate the public on what would happen 50 to 100 years from now if we did nothing to curve our current use of fossil fuels. If global warming continues at its current rate, scientists agree that all the ice in Greenland will melt within 50 to 100 years. Sea levels will rise 23 feet worldwide. These places in Ventura would be underwater. If we break our dependence on coal and oil, we can change the outcome. Earth's average temperature has already increased two degrees on land since the industrial age began. Increased temperatures have caused glacial ice to melt faster than scientists ever expected. A rise of 23 feet within the next century would displace 400 million people. According to the Rainforest Action Network, the 24-7 burning of the rainforest contributes more carbon dioxide to the planet in global warming than does every plane, train, and automobile on the planet. You might be asking yourself, what can you do to stem your contribution to global warming? Well, besides the obvious of buying a hybrid car and walking and biking more, look at the sourcing of products and avoid buying products that come from a rainforest area, specifically palm oil or lumber that you use for the addition to your house. If that comes from a rainforest area, it contributes to the degradation and the burning of the rainforests. You can also, if you're considering a vacation, go to a rainforest area and tell the locals there that the reason why you're vacationing in that particular area is because you appreciate that they have retained this beautiful area for you and subsequent generations to enjoy. For the Surf and River Report, this is Brian Von Diedenroth at the Slap Pole.